Fox 11 Community Champions is driven by your helpful Southern California Honda dealers. As L.A. looks ahead to the Super Bowl, we highlight another one of the NFL's community champions. Hollenbeck Pal stands for Police Activities League, and we take you inside this longtime LAPD and community partnership. They're one of the 56 Super Bowl 56 legacy champions. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Pair a classic 1930s Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers movie, Top Hat, and a real-life family love. And that's supposed to be you? Yes. Yes. And is this kind of like a love letter to your grandma? Uh, yeah, it's a love letter to my grandma and a love letter to cinema. The filmmaker, 17-year-old Hector Santiago. And I used to watch movies with my grandma a lot, and I just sort of liked all the worlds, you know, that can be brought into a television, well, at that time. But, you know, I started seeing movies in the big screen, and I just, I absolutely just fell in love with it. His movie making is through a class in the inner city Hollenbeck Pal program. Our goal is for every student that comes through here to leave here knowing who they are, knowing what their dreams are, what their passions, and even what hurts them. We want them to really be comfortable with their story. Roll camera. Rolling. Oliveros works alongside police officer Donald Levere. Although I'm a full-time police officer, my assignment, just like you can be assigned to patrol or assigned to a gang unit, I'm assigned to our PAL program. The Hollenbeck Police Activities League is tied to LAPD's Hollenbeck Police Station in Boyle Heights. One of my goals, you know, within working in the PAL program is to help our village be as successful as possible. We also need those of us that are working with the community and, you know, getting to know the families and building relationships. Lorraine Garcia notes the reality of some of the kids they serve. It was some of these kids that are hanging around the wrong crowd, some of these kids that are being very defiant at home. We created a, a program that wanted to look at these kids and capture them before it was too late. Do you have one that stands out to you? You know, the first one I looked at was this one that I am, two words that I'm shy. Oh, I, see. I am shy because I really was a, a very, very shy child. As program director, it's personal for Garcia. I was one of those kids that grew up in a very similar area um, like Boyle Heights, and I was afraid of the police. My father happened to be doing things he shouldn't have been doing, and as a young person, you don't understand that. You're just afraid, and you think, why are they taking my father away? In 2016, Hollenbeck Pal launched an innovative mental health component. For many people, it's a huge stigma. And so our goal was to hopefully start changing that narrative and that our kids would be comfortable because they trust us. They added in social work interns through USC for a holistic approach working with police. We have a 73% success rate, and that's because we have a case management component that actually follows these children and interacts with the families. Born and raised in L.A.? So I was actually born and raised in Long Beach. LaVere does work in their diversion program. The kids that we work with in the PAL program, you know, they've, they've gone through things at ages of, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12 that some adults aren't even equipped mentally um, to deal with. So just to be a part of their support system, to be a part of their village uh, means the world to me. These 56 champion organizations are change makers. A highlight for the Hollenbeck Police Activities League, an honor at SoFi Stadium by L.A.'s Super Bowl host committee with a $10,000 grant, a personal and professional touchdown. My whole family uh, watches football, and then we've been a longtime Rams fan, and just to be there at their new stadium was incredible. Back to film class and the incredible achievement of Hector. He won the Hollenbeck Powell Film Festival. His mom? We're looking for um, support for the kids. And when you saw the film, what did you think? Oh, I think, oh, Hector is good. Hector is amazing. He enjoys the moment. Moment there. Well, Hector did graduate from Salesian High School and continues right now to work on film projects. And, and a reminder that there are so many different projects in community policing where officers are doing things like this that aren't just typical patrol on the streets. I've been wanting to profile them, especially that mental health component for years now. Finally a chance to actually get out there and do it. Hollenbeck Powell, check them out. Great work. Love that.